Okay, welcome to the Unit 8 review. We're talking about five sections. Let's get to it real quick here. Uh, number two, let's look at number two. Basically, this is a good problem for section 8.1. What we need to do is we need to graph both of these lines and we find their point of intersection. We are solving each system by graphing. Okay, so the first one here, uh, what do we got? We're actually going to write it out. So m is going to equal negative 2, which we know we want to write as a fraction, negative 2 over 1 b equals 3 so that's the starting point right there we start up at 3 and then uh, the slope tells us we need to go down 2 over 1 so that's gonna be here from this point here we go down 2 over 1 and you can do that a couple times and you know what? people who are really good they go back the other way so instead of down 2 over 1 they go back this way 1 and then up 2 and it should make the same line there let's try to make that line Okay, so then we're going to do what? Well, we're going to find the other line here. Let's change that color up. We'll go, what are we going to go, purple? And so we need to start at, I'm going to start with B this time. B equals negative 2, and then M equals negative 1 third. Remember, if there's a negative, we can put it in the top. We'll call it negative 1 third. So we start at negative 2, and from there we need to go down 1 over 3. So down 1 over 3, look at that, coincidentally. That is the same exact point that we had on the other line. That's pretty good for me. So what point is that? That would be x equals 3 and y equals negative 3. So I'm going to write that just like this here. So that's going to be the solution to number 2. That is 8.1, which is solving systems graphically. Okay, now let's look at substitution. Substitution is when you solve one of the equations for a variable. So looking at both of these equations, I see that there's a y all by itself right there. That's what I'm going to focus on, that y right there. So I'm going to solve the top equation for y by subtracting 4x from each side. Check that out. Now, students get in trouble right in this step because they try to combine terms that are not like terms. But what can we... I mean, what do we do here? What do we do? We just write the two terms separately. So we're going to write it as negative 4x minus 22. You cannot combine those two terms. All right, so now that we know that uh, y equals negative 4x minus 22, in the other equation, okay, we're going to plug that in for y because we know what y is. y is all by itself right here. y equals all of this stuff. So in the other equation, we're going to write it exactly like it is. But instead of y, we're going to put what y is equal to. We're going to put negative 4x minus 22. And so I'm just rewriting this equation, but I'm taking the y out and I'm putting in what y is equal to. All right, so then it becomes an algebra problem. So what do we get? Plus 8x plus 44 equals 2. Now we combine like terms. I can put those two together. So 6x plus 44 equals 2. If I subtract 44 from each side, I'm going to get 6x equals negative 42, or x equals negative 7. Oop, that's a negative 7 right there. All right, so now we can go back to this equation right here, and we can find out what y equals. So y is going to equal negative 4x minus 22, but we know that x equals, because we just solved that, negative 7. So we're going to figure all that out. We're going to get 28 minus 22, or y equals 6. So that's what y equals. We're going to write our answer as a coordinate point, so we're going to get negative 7, 6. By the way, all these questions coming off of the corrective assignment. You can go download that if you want, and there are lots and lots of problems on there. Okay, so the next section is 8.3. That's systems of elimination. We're going to solve systems by elimination. All right, so what does that mean? That means everything's got to line up. So we got the x's, the y's, the equal sign, and the constants. Okay, so now what? Well, none of these cancel. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can get these to cancel. Now, there's basically, you can do it any way you want to. Look at the x's. I could turn them both into 24s. That is one option right there. I can also look at the y's and change them both into 14s. I think I'm going to change the y's just because I like to be wise. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply the top equation by seven. Now, that means multiplying everything in the top equation. So we're gonna get 42x plus 14y equals, and we got seven times eight would be 56. We double that, 
we get 112. So that's going to be 7 times 16. All right, on the bottom, remember, we're focusing on the y's. We want that to be a 14, so we're going to multiply by 2. So we get negative 16x minus 14y equals, what do we multiply by here? By 2, so we get a negative 8. All right, so notice in the middle here we have 14y and a negative 14y. That is what elimination is. Now we add the two equations. All right, so 42 minus 16. Well, 40 minus 16 would be 24. So this is going to work out to be 26. Uh, these cancel out. And all of this equals, what do we get? We subtract 8. We're going to get 104. All right, we divide by 26 on both sides. We're good at math, so we know that x equals 4. Now you have to go back and pick an equation. I'll pick the first one because there's no negatives. So 6x plus 2y equals 16. we got to plug that answer in. So x equals 4. We're going to plug that right here. Plugging it in. So we get 24 minus 24. So we're going to subtract 24 from each side. Draw the line. All right, what do we get when we subtract 24? We get 2y equals, what's the difference here? 4 and another 4, negative 8. Or y equals negative 4. So we get the coordinate point here, 4, negative 4. That's called elimination. It's when you add the equations and one of the variables cancels out. Next one, we good with that? We good with that. Next one is called special systems or solving systems that are special here. So what happens is either all the variables are going to cancel out. Well, they're going to if it's a special system. And then you're either left with a true statement or a false statement. If it's true, then you say uh, infinitely many solutions. If it's false, it's no solution. So let's look at number 11, okay? So I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 2. I'm going to rewrite the top equation. So the top equation, 2x minus 4y equals 4. And the bottom equation is negative 2x plus 4y equals negative 24. I draw the line. They cancel. They cancel. We get 0 equals negative 20. So then that brings up the question, when does 0 equal negative 20? It never does. So that's going to be a no solution. Okay, so on your test, you're going to have some that actually work out like these right here. Should we bring it back? Yep, there you go. Like these. We got four, negative four. Some will work out and some will not work out. The key is if all the variables cancel out, that'll tell you it's either no solution or infinitely many solutions. All right, last section is 8.5, systems of inequalities. What we're going to do is we're going to graph each one of these inequalities on each problem here and we're going to find the the region that is shaded twice let me show you what that means so number 15 we get y is greater than one so think of the line y equals one okay that is this line right here but because it's not equal to it's just greater than we're going to use a dotted line remember you have to worry about dotted lines and solid lines all right so y is greater than one which numbers are greater than this line, the ones on top or the ones underneath? That's easy. That's the points on top of the line. All right, so that's shading the first one. Done. The, uh, by the way, the first one, I mean the first one that I actually graphed. Here's the first equation here. We got 4x minus y is greater than or equal to 3. I'm going to subtract 4x from each side. These are going to cancel. I'm going to get. I'm going to bring it down here so I have more room. Negative y is greater than or equal to negative 4x positive 3. It's a plus 3. Okay. So now I'm going to sub, I'm going to divide by negative 1. Divide everything. So what do you do when you divide by a negative? That sign's got to flip. So you're going to get y is less than or equal to 4x minus 3 because we have a positive 4x here and a negative 3. All right, so now I'm going to change the color up. Now we're going to graph this. We start b equals negative 3. So that's starting right here. And then the slope is 4 over 1, or your positive 4. So that means up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. It's always good to get a couple points there. And is it dotted or solid? It's equal to, so it's a solid line. That's the best I can do there. Is it greater than or less than? This says less than, so I go underneath the line. So we're going to draw all of this 
here shading underneath the line there's this part now we put an s in there for solution set that helps the teacher know what area you're talking about that is shaded twice so that is it that is the review of each section uh, we got some application problems on there you can check it out wrestle with it but they're all very similar to the ones that were in the packet so good luck to you this is mr kelly bottom remember it's nice to be important it's more important to be nice See you.